Nothing sells Christmas more than panettone. This world-renowned Italian sweet bread originated in Milan in the 15th century. It's a brioche buttery and airy cake made with eggs, flour, milk, butter and sugar and filled with festive flavors, raisins, candied orange and sometimes topped with sugar. Moist, delicious and luxurious. Welcome back to Inevitably. I'm Marco and you can tell I'm Italian because I'm 10 in December. Subscribe and let's go! Panettone is Italy's absolute favorite and the uncontested king of the holidays. And speaking of kings, here's a fun fact. The legend goes that Panettone was born by mistake when Tony, a kitchen boy in the court of Ludovico il Moro, Duke of Milan, accidentally burned the Duke's Christmas Eve desserts. To make up for it, he mixes his leftover dough with sugar, eggs, candied fruits and raisins and bakes a voluminous loaf. Ludovico loves it and when he asks what it is, here's what the chef says in Milanese dialect. L'el pan dal Tony, meaning it's the bread of Tony. Pan dal ton then becomes panettone in Italian. More realistically, panettone actually means big loaf of bread, un grande pane. But hey, we all love a good fairy tale, especially at Christmas. Unsurprisingly, the best companion to panettone is a glass of Italian bubbly. I recommend Moscato d'Asti as a light option or a glass of sweet spumante or prosecco. During the Christmas holidays, panettone is eaten both as a dessert after dinner or for breakfast, in which case coffee, cappuccino or hot cocoa are great accompaniments. And if you want to make your panettone experience extra scrumptious, well, I may have the right recipe for you. I'm about to teach you how to make an absolutely delicious crema al mascarpone. Yes, you heard it right. A cheesy cream made with eggs, sugar and mascarpone. First though, repeat after me. Mas car -o ne Mascarpone. Not mascarpone, not marscapone. <laughs> mascarpone. It's so easy to make and you'll impress everyone around the table. Here's what you need. 500 gram of mascarpone cheese at room temperature and preferably made in Italy. Trust me, I can tell the difference. Four eggs, also at room temperature. 125 grams of sugar, 50 grams of water, and a pinch of salt. That's all, let's start. Pour the water and the sugar into a saucepan. Mix lightly and bring the mixture to 121 Celsius, that's 250 Fahrenheit, measuring the temperature with a kitchen thermometer. If you don't have a thermometer, the syrup will be ready when small white bubbles form on the surface. In the meantime, separate egg whites and yolks in two bowls and start whipping the egg yolks with an electric whisk. When the syrup has reached the right temperature, pour it slowly over the egg yolks, lowering the speed of the whisk and keeping it running. Continue whipping until completely cool. In the other bowl, add a pinch of salt to the egg whites and whip them until stiff. Now, this is my favorite part. See this gooey liquid turn into a beautiful fluffy cloud. It's kind of like magic. Now soften the mascarpone with a spatula, then gradually add it to the now cold egg yolk mixture. Incorporate with the whisk, mixing gradually. Finally, add the egg white cloud into the mix and incorporate as to obtain a homogeneous cream. La crema al mascarpone è pronta. Enjoy it by dripping it all over your slice of panettone. And if you, like me, feel extra cheeky today, add a few drops of Marsala sweet wine to the mix to make your mascarpone cream a bit naughty. Don't worry, Santa will forgive you once he has a bite too. As always, you can download a free recipe card on inevitably.com and find inspiration for your festive Italian shopping in our Amazon shop and here on YouTube. Have a wonderful holiday season and a great start to the new year. Buon Natale, buone feste e a presto. Ciao!